Enough with the small talk, okay? You can cut this shit. We both know why I'm here. And considering I was just making some headway with my latest soup, we can say I'm not too keen about being pulled. And taking a brief look at your files, it looks like I've got my work cut out for me, don't I? You've been with Vought International for five months, and you've already made quite the explosion. Yep, you heard me correctly. Quite the explosion. Looks like you blew through a building and it fell down killing five civilians. And guess what? It was filmed and put on the internet for everyone to see. Lucky for you, our staff works quickly and looks like it only made it through three states before being pulled. It might not sound like a lot, but... Oh look, great. You're already down four and a half points. Yeah, four and a half points. Considering you're already a low-ranking soup. Great job. Just great. So, here's how things are going to work. I am only assigned to the soups who need the most work. And that's why we're here. I make the heroes super. Got it? My name's Ruby, and I'm your newest manager. And with me, you don't speak to the press unless I say you can speak to the press. You don't save unless I tell you you can save, and that includes using your powers. You don't breathe unless I tell you you can breathe, and you can't even pee unless I tell you you can pee. Got it? You think I'm kidding. One word from me, and you're out of this company, understand? They won't even blink an eye. You're one of our lowest ranking soups. I've seen your kind before. You think you're a big shot. Come from a small town, probably the head jock, right? You think that, hey, I'm so amazing, I've made it into the big leagues. Guess what, sweetie? You're just another rock in the sand. There's plenty of soups to go around. No one even knows who you are. It says here that you're stationed to save a small town in Kentucky, right? You're in the triple digits in ranking. This is ridiculous. This is going to be one of my hardest ones yet. I'm surprised they haven't let you go already, honestly. Though, so, I guess to them, something in your file is showing promise. What that is, I have yet to find it. And even looking at you, I've yet to find it. So, like I said, I was just assigned your file here. So, I didn't have time to read too much about you, thankfully. But, like I said, I see you've been here for five months. I would expect this kind of attitude from one of the seven, but not from a new soup trying to make it here. It's kind of sad, frankly. Yet here we are. 
So if you want to make it in this organization and be famous and be part of the seven, you're going to sit down, shut up, and listen to everything I tell you. You got it? Good. So I see your first name, last name, where you're from. What's your age? <laughs> your true age, not the one that they tell the media. Got it. Okay. And what's your hero name? <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just kind of lame. No wonder no one knows who you are. That name is... Mm. Easily forgettable? I've already forgotten it, thankfully. Oh my goodness. <sighs> no, we're going to have to give you a full rebranding. Thankfully, no one knows who you are. But we'll go ahead and we'll give you a new name. Definitely a new costume. And I'll get you moved to a better location. A bigger city like Detroit or Atlanta. <laughs> Somewhere when you actually make saves, people will know who you are. That way you start moving up in the rank. Yes, I'm actually trying to help you. I don't know why. But that's what they want from me. So, that's why I'm here. We're also going to have to work on that attitude of yours. You may have superpowers, but that's not going to get you far with the people. But first things first. I'm going to go ahead and need to get your measurements for a new costume. Your color's okay. We could probably add another color. That would kind of spice things up a bit. We could also give you a mask. Well, you may think masks are lame, but actually, in case you were wondering, masks are great for your branding. They're easily sellable merch. Every kid wants to dress as their favorite superhero. Duh. So we get you a mask, we get you some popularity, and we put costume versions of your masks in store. Kids eat that shit up. They'll help get the word of you out there. It's genius. So, I'm gonna get some face measurements real quick. Hold still. Well, you may not like a full face mask, but we could at least do a half. Plus a half is easier too. Get made and sell anyway, it's much cheaper. All right. From your forehead to your chin here. Okay. I'm gonna get from your ear to ear. Okay. Good. Okay. I'm gonna get from your forehead to the back of your head here. Okay. Good. Get from your ear to your ear going over the top of your head. Okay. Also, if you're going to be this close to people saving them, you might want to work on your oral hygiene. When you just drink coffee, ew. Try keeping some mints on you, please. Alright, let me get around your head here. Alright, 
Let me just write those down. So, while I'm getting your measurements here, why don't you tell me a little bit more about your powers? I see here that you have super strength and the ability to fly, which actually is quite impressive. That could be why they think you have potential. You get your neck here. Okay. Good. And around your Okay, so what other powers do you have? Really? I see. Well, that's not bad actually. That gives us quite a bit to work with. That's definitely impressive. Well, I might stand corrected with the proper training and costume, we might be able to get you up quite far in the ranking, maybe even top 10. <laughs> right? I won't say top seven yet. You have a long way to go. Thank you, got your arms, and get your torso there. Okay. All right, let me get around your hips. Okay. Good, and your chest. Not bad. Not bad. You might want to try hitting the gym a little bit just to bulk up some of those muscles. Not that it's bad. I know you have super strength and all, but it'll help make it look better underneath the costume. Just better for your overall image. People want to see every muscle ripple underneath that spandex costume. Okay. And I'm thinking primary colors. What about blue? Yeah. I'm thinking like a dark blue, maybe with like hints of red or white. Yeah. It'll be more of like a pop than what you're using right now. And I'll work on the name. So, I'll have your new costume and your new name picked out by tomorrow before you do your first save. Okay? And I'll look around for the best opportunity for you in the best city that's available. For now, let me go ahead and take a quick look at you. I'll set up a proper examination. <laughs> I don't care if you've already been through an examination. If I'm your manager now, you're going to do things my way. And I'm going to have my people examine you. Your eyes look bloodshot. That leads me to believe you're taking some kind of performance drug. Or at least something else. And that doesn't fly with me. So... Hold still, I'm going to take a quick pee. Okay. Good. That was good. And you say you have bulletproof skin as well, right? I can tell. Okay. Good. Take a quick 
with your eyes open. I have my pen light. Alright, hold still. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna give you these. They're just eye drops. It'll remove that redness out of your eyes. You don't need the whole world to see that you're on something. Hold still. Just going to put a couple of drops in each eye here. Okay. There. Go ahead and blink a few times. It should remove the redness and make you look semi-normal. Real quick, go ahead and open up your mouth for me and stick out your tongue. Do it. Thank you. Okay. That looks passable. Okay. Thank you. Now, go ahead and hit the gym for me. Work on using those eye drops, getting some mint. I'll have your costume soon, and I'll call you back in to try it on. I'll come up with a new name. I'm going to find you a new city, so you are going to get relocated. Thankfully, like I said, you're so far down in the ranking, no one's going to even realize that you've disappeared. And it'll give you a fresh start somewhere else. And then once you've done a couple saves and you start making a name for yourself, I'll get you booked on some radio shows and maybe even like a cameo and some kind of TV special or commercial. Maybe even like a billboard. That way we start getting your name out there more. Then that should help you move up in the rank. And then more doors will open for you and we can go from there. For now, work on that personality of yours. Be more likable. I don't care if you're a shit behind closed doors, but to the people, you better be on your A game. Got it? Good. They have to think that you're flawless and that you actually care about them. Heaven forbid these superheroes care. All right. This should be good for now. I'm gonna set you up a class where we'll teach you how to do interviews. I've seen one of your interviews and it was so awful. So. I'll let you know when that is. No, you can't miss it. Got it? Good. I'd say it was a pleasure to meet you, but that has been yet to be determined. I'll see you soon. Lay low till then. Bye.